so, In Through the Outdoor is Led Zeppelin's last studio album. Um, if you don't count Coda, which was a, sort of a posthumous release for Led Zeppelin, but this to me is the last real uh, Led Zeppelin studio album. Now, the first thing to talk about immediately is the history, because there is a lot there to talk about. Um, so for Jimmy Page, um, he did presents in like two weeks or something, and basically he um, claims that he did that because of heroin and it made him a lot more productive. And from that, you may gather that heroin is good, but heroin is not good, and very, very quickly after presence, it started getting to the point where it wasn't like a fun thing that you do occasionally. It started getting really serious and he started getting extremely addicted. Um, a lot of um, really terrible shows he played, um, 77, uh, because of the heroin addiction. Um, so basically that leads to basically a bad guitar performance, but we'll talk about that later. Um, Robert Plant, um, his son died, and this was an extremely traumatic experience, obviously, as it would be having your five-year-old son die. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, he died during the 1977 tours, and they cancelled the rest of the tours immediately, and just basically, kind of, all the band members laid loose for a little bit, and then they regrouped in 78 to make this album. Um, so, and Bonham, that's perhaps um, one of the more famous ones. Um, he got a really, really, really serious drinking problem. It, it was to the point where he had to get up and drink loads of vodka before he could even just do anything. So, really, um, really tragic that that happened to him, but he just had a classic drinking problem. Um, although, um, I think, as far as Jimmy Page goes, the heroin had more an effect on his guitar performance, or at least it's more audible, the effect, but the drum performance sometimes are okay, but again, we'll get into more of that later. So, um, what is the reason why they made this album? Now, they made this album almost entirely because John Paul Jones got a new uh, keyboard or synthesizer or something like that, and he wanted to try it out. And it was a really, really um, fancy kind of new synthesizer. Some of the ones that like people would be using in the 80s. And basically, he just wanted to use this um, really expensive piece of kit. Um, and that's immediately a problem there, because that's not a reason to make an album, a new piece of kit. It's, it's just not. Um, but they did, and so let's talk about it. This album, stylistically, is almost all synth-driven. And I have no problem with synths. I love synths. Synths can be great, but it doesn't sound right for Led Zeppelin to um, be synth-led. Led Zeppelin are always, you know, a really guitar-based and all about the vocals and good performances. But the synth sound just doesn't work for me. It just... Even if we're not um, taking into account what happened in the 80s and music got a lot more uh, synth-oriented, it still just doesn't sound like good music. Um, doesn't feel like Led Zeppelin. It doesn't feel like Led Zeppelin is there at all in, on this album at all. Now, obviously, extremely influential on the 80s kind of style of music with the synth-driven kind of sound, but I'm just not a big fan of it at all. Um, and the main problem with this album is that it just lacks substance. Um, it lacks good writing in almost all of the album, it lacks soul, and it lacks any kind of emotion, um, except for one track, All My Love, um, that's the only track where I actually genuinely feel emotion from the music, um, but yeah, other, other than that, it just feels, doesn't feel uh, natural, it doesn't feel like a whole piece of music, it doesn't feel like something Led Zeppelin would make, to be completely honest. Um, presence. You know, you still had generally okay performances, and the music, the writing wasn't too poor, but here it's just really, really bad at times. Sometimes it, uh, there are shining moments on this album, but majority of the time it is just Led Zeppelin losing their way completely. So yeah, um, let's talk about the performances. Um, Robert Plant, terrible performance. Um, I don't know what more to say. Um, all My Love is the only good Robert Plant performance on this album, I'd say, and obviously that's probably because of what the lyrics are about, which we'll talk about more later, but 
just doesn't feel like Robert Plant's portraying any emotion, except for that one track. Um, so yeah, Robert Plant, and on a technical level, I just don't like the sound. He's doing some really weird stuff as well on like Hot Dog, singing in really weird styles. Um, just not working for me at all. Jimmy Page, um, this is definitely his worst performance on a Led Zeppelin album. Um, it just, obviously this is because of the heroin, and it's just not a good performance in almost any way. The solos are absolutely terrible on this album. Um, but just the regular playing um, doesn't feel that energized, and it doesn't feel there, it doesn't feel Jimmy Page. Um, Jumple Jones, um, definitely the best uh, performance on this. Um, he plays bass, but mainly it's the synth sound, that Jumple Jones and the keyboards and the piano. Um, he turns in a good performance. Um, he, unlike the others, was still, you know, sane and healthy. Um, so yeah, he turns in an okay performance, but the fact that he's barely even playing bass at all does make me kind of not like the sound very much. And John Bonham, he has shining moments, he definitely does. He definitely um, has some good moments on the sound, but overall, it's just not a John Bonham performance. It just doesn't feel, it feels weak, it doesn't feel like a proper Led Zeppelin performance. Um, very inconsistent, this album is, that, that's just mainly the problem with it. It doesn't feel whole, it doesn't feel like a piece of music, it just feels feels disjointed a lot of this album and it feels really put together and it just feels absolutely all over the place stylistically in terms of performance and there's there's no flow and that's why it's uh, a, this is a bad album uh, to be completely honest and it's not just because of the style it's not just because of the synth stuff I have no problem with synths and I have no problem with bands experimenting with different styles, but it's just inconsistent. There is no way of getting around that. And so now let's move on to the track list. Now this album opens with In the Evening. Um, Jesse starts off okay, has some um, nice kind of atmospheric synths, you know, going on. This alright. And then, you know, Robert Plant starts singing and then basically don't like the rest of the song at all. Really sloppy guitar solo. Like, what on earth is that? That is pretty terrible to listen to and it's just really repetitive it's too long it's over six minutes and I basically lose interest as soon as Robert Plant starts singing um, so yeah next track is Southbound Suarez now this is a terrible song um, absolutely horrid vocal performance um, this is just basically a pop song it doesn't feel like a Led Zeppelin song at all um, the, you got John Paul Jones on the piano that's kind of okay but the guitar solo, oh my god, that is a terrible guitar solo. Um, and it, it doesn't feel right with the style. The style of the song is not in tune with extremely distorted guitar solos, you know. Um, so it just feels completely out of place. And yeah, so really, really terrible song. Um, probably my second least favorite Led Zeppelin song. Um, we'll find out what the worst is later. Um, Fool in the Rain. Now, this song is actually one of the songs that I actually don't mind that much. Um, it starts off with a pretty catchy piano riff, and it's like, okay, I could get into this. But then, it just doesn't really go anywhere for me. It's a bit repetitive, and some of the kind of um, parts on the drum don't really work for me in terms of style. But on a technical level, the drum performance is very good on this song. Um, Obviously, the vocal performance is nothing that special. Guitar performance is not uh, very audible at all, obviously, because this is more of a synth-driven kind of an album. But, but yeah, it's actually an okay song. just doesn't really go anywhere for me. And now I move on to Hot Dog. I'm done. I'm done. Hot Dog. Hot Dog. What? What is this? What is this song? I, I don't know. Clearly, they don't know. What were they on? Well, we do know what they were on. They were on heroin and lots of alcohol. But that's besides the point. This is a joke. This is not a real song. This is a joke song. You got Robert Plant there trying to do an Elvis impersonation while you got this ultra poppy, really repetitive piano riff and just a terrible vocal performance and this atrocity 
of a guitar solo. What is that? That is... Oh my god, that is terrible. So yeah, this song is my least favorite Led Zeppelin song. Uh, what even is this? This isn't even, like, a, a real song. This is a joke. It's not a... It's out of place and it sucks. Moving on. Caris Alhambra. Now, this song is actually... has some good moments in it. Now, the opening section is basically a synth-led kind of a keyboard-oriented kind of a sound. And it... To me, this song doesn't work as a cohesive piece of music. But, there are good elements in this. Um, the synth playing is good. The keyboards are good. Um, it's almost four minutes before you can even hear the guitars. Um, but finally, some actual good instrumentation on this song. Very rare on this album, but there is some in there. And the last section um, just feels repetitive to me. Um, this song is way too long. This is the second longest uh, Led Zeppelin song, uh, the first being In My Time of Dying. Um, but yeah, the main problem is it doesn't work as a cohesive piece of music, but there's some good instrumentation in there. Um, the vocal performance is mediocre, but it's okay. And so now we move on to All My Love. Now this is actually a pretty good song as well. Um, this is by far the best vocal performance, in my opinion. Obviously, that's due to the lyrics being about the death of Robert Plant's son. Um, so finally, we get some emotion from um, Robert Plant. And the synth riff is okay, but other than that, this is really a vocal-oriented kind of a song. Now we move on to the last track, I'm Going to Crawl. And this is a slower song. Um, this has the best guitar solo on this album by far. And the vocal performance is better than most of the tracks, but... Other than that, it's a bit repetitive and doesn't really go anywhere for me. Um, so yeah, Into the Outdoor. Weak writing, inconsistent performances, and just overall is a lackluster mess, and it gets a 3.5 out of 10. Later.